Josh and I are here today, and we're discussing the differences between us and the competitor. The devil's truly in the details, and we're going to show you the differences between the two. Now, we're not here to badmouth the competitor system. We're simply here just to educate you and let you make your own decision on which system you'd like to purchase. When you first open your fast box, the first thing you're going to see is the wiring harness. Now, comparing it to our competitors, I feel that it's a lot heavier. It feels like money. Yeah, and that's because of our 10 gauge wiring. Now go ahead and put it alongside the competitor's 14 gauge wiring and notice how much larger that is. So what that's going to do is minimize voltage drop from the battery back to the fast system. Now on top of that 10 gauge wiring, we have our weather pack connector versus the competitor's Deutsch connector. And just look how much larger our pins are in our connector. It's going to further reduce voltage drop back to the fast system. And that basically just allows a more free flowing current of electricity. And that's where we're getting our solid million mile motor and increasing the flow rates of the fast system. Digging a little farther into the box, I noticed some big differences in motor sizes. I know that fast uses two different size motors. Why is that, Josh? Well, let's go ahead and take our low pressure 165 gallon per hour system, for instance. If you look, physically the motors look to be about the same size, but we're running 10 gauge wiring back to the fast motor, and we're also running our heavy duty weather pack connector. That's getting us our solid million mile motor. Now, if we take a look at our 250 gallon per hour system here, look how much larger that motor is than even our 165 gallon per hour system. And that's because we're fine tuning the fast motor and fast system to your application to ensure you're getting that solid million mile motor. I noticed right off the bat, this is a 200 gallon per hour system. And I can see that their motor, they're using the same physical size motor, it appears, on their 165 as on their 200. And when we test our systems, we test them on diesel fuel and at pressure. So our advertised part number is our flow rate on what you're actually getting on your application. Versus free flow on mineral spirits. That's right. Now let's dig into some of the finer details, things you can't really see just from looking at the outside of the fast system. So starting off, the first thing I notice, I can see a big difference in the profile of the pump here versus ours. Now that's gonna cause a problem where fuel's leaving their fuel filter and it actually hits a T-bone and then has to turn another 90 degree bend to the rear. That's gonna entrain air and create eddy currents. So now taking a look at the fast, you can see where we add an additional $30 in cost in the form of our performance radius cut. And what that does is that allows fuel to leave our fuel filter through the draw tube, make a 90 degree bend through our 5 8 ball cut. Now think about it like exhaust. Would you want a hard 90 degree bend in your exhaust pipe? Or do you want a nice smooth mandrel bend? That's what we want to see in our fuel system so that we don't entrain air after we take it out. On the competitor system, they're machined with 3 8 ports along with T-cuts and 90 degree cuts. Now we've equipped the fast system with all half inch porting, ball cuts. We have a machined angle on the inlet of the fast system, which is going to help with flow as fuel enters the fast. And we've also equipped ours with tuned porting. Think about it like porting a cylinder head on an engine. It's going to allow for better flow. Not only does it allow for better flow on the fast system, it assists with dry priming and reduces cavitation. That's going to just overall reduce the sound output and increase the fast performance of your system. So Josh and I are down to mounting, hardware, and fittings. So I know in the past, AirDog was using some plastic brackets. We finally got them to step up to the plate and they went to steel, but they still left a lot to be desired. So you're comparing our two brackets. You can look, we're using 3 8 American steel and they're using a quarter inch bracket. 
So keep in mind that they're sandwiching the frame. So these brackets actually will bow. And I know I've seen systems of theirs going down the road that w they weren't stable. They didn't stay where they were mounted originally. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mounting hardware the kits come with. You can see we're using grade eight hardware and they're using the grade five hardware. So this is obviously much stronger. Moving into the fittings, you'll see that they're using plastic proprietary fittings. Now they have failure prone O-rings on the inside. You're gonna to have to go back to the manufacturer when you need replacement. That's right. And the majority of our fittings are JIC to push lock hose. Now these can be found in the majority of your hardware stores or on the shelves at automotive parts stores. Now JIC is gonna give you a positive metal to metal seal with no O-rings to worry about. That's right. On many applications, we utilize the basket and the fuel tank to draw the fuel from and return the fuel from. That's going to act as a reservoir and eliminate the need for a sump and allow you to safely run to lower fuel levels. Now, by eliminating the sump, that's going to save you money right off the bat. We believe that the differences we have shown you today are going to help you choose fast over our competitors. Now, if you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to give our technical service department a call or log on to fastride.com.